Hi guys, welcome to today's comparison video. So in today's video, we're looking at dive computers, but more specifically, we're looking at large screen colored dive computers. So on my right hand side, I have the Shearwater Perdix, or more accurately, the Perdix AI. And on my left side, we have a new computer for this year. This is the Mares Genius. So the Mares Genius is basically an updated version of the Icon, and um, it's it's a large screen uh, sort of colored dive computer, which kind of pegs it up against the Perdix, but it's also uh, sort of available. You can dive it with Trimix and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can pair it with transmitters as well, which is why I've got it against the AI version. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the hardware, the actual units themselves uh, and what you get with them. So we're gonna start with the Mares. So I'm just gonna put the Perdix to one side. So the Mares itself, it's a big dive computer, um, especially when you compare it to the Perdix. The Perdix is like a slimmed down version of the petrol, um, but with the Genius, they're just going full force into, it's a large screen dive computer, it's rechargeable, um, so it's a, it's a big unit. A little bit big for my liking, but if you want a big dive computer, this is the way to go. As far as weight though, it doesn't weigh as much as you expect it to. Granted that these, um, these side bits look like metal, this is actually plastic by the feels of it. Um, you've got the rechargeable battery on the inside, uh, you recharge it, through these uh, sort of four little contacts there and a, um, a sort of a charging cradle grip thing. Um, so that just locates itself kind of in there. Um, and that'll be how you uh, sort of recharge the dive computer. Whilst I'm on that, um, this is your, um, your little power adapter. Uh, so it's powered from a USB port, uh, which is, I think it's five volts. 5 volts, 2.4 amps, um, so a pretty standard um, size. It comes as standard with uh, this, I think this is the US plug, um, but what they've done very cleverly, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, it took me a minute to work this out, you get all these other uh, adapters and they just use that US plug to then turn into all these other plugs. So here we've got the UK plug, we've got all sorts of European and everything else. Um, and then a USB cable goes from that to the cradle to charge up your computer. Now, you can probably uh, connect that to your desktop as well, so you can download firmware and uh, software and sort of update the dive computer. You also get a little bag with it. Um, it's, it's just a quick little bag. Um, it's made out of like high density neoprene, like two mil neoprene, and then just a quick little um, sort of drawstring to close it. Um, yeah, you can just bang your dive computer in that, keep it safe, keep the screen safe so it's not scratched or anything. Uh, and of course the obligatory book of words and everything uh, in that. <clears throat> so back to the main unit. Four button user interface. I love four button user interfaces. The more buttons, the better, because it just, it, it's a lot easier to go and navigate through um, that, um, that sort of menu structure. So yeah, four buttons, and they're all set at the top. I believe you can invert it. The old version, the icon, you could. Um, I haven't found the setting in here yet that you can um, sort of turn it upside down, but it's not the end of the world with all the buttons on the bottom. So the strap itself, so you get a really big chunky strap, great for dry suits or uh, sort of wet suits, and uh, it's really wide as well, so it's not gonna dig in or get uncomfortable, especially on the longer dives. On the underside, we've got a bit of um, sort of anti-slip um, sort of tracks in there, so that's just gonna um, sort of keep your um, your computer on. And, uh, and otherwise, it's, it's a big dive computer. I'm gonna say that again, it, it does feel very big. Um, the finish on it is very nice. Uh, they've got a small little bit up there that I'm not too sure on. I don't know whether that's like a pressure sensor or something, uh, but there's a little gap. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, good, uh, good quality build. Um, it's nice and solid and, uh, and yeah, it, it feels very nice. And that rechargeable battery, because it's got that um, sort of large, sort of bright screen, yeah, it just means you can top that battery off. Moving over to the Perdix. So the Perdix comes with a nice little case. Um, so this is what you can keep it in. 
and um, you can sort of organize it and whatnot. It's one of these semi-rigid cases, so it's kind of squidgy, but it's gonna protect it from um, sort of lumps and bumps. Uh, you also get a pair of strap options. So the Perdix itself, as you can see, it doesn't come with them fitted, um, but it does give you the options of mounting a, uh, a sort of a wristband however you want. You can either use two of these sort of webbing bands, these kind of standard with the unit, and these are elasticated. They're a strong elastic, uh, but they do still have a little bit of give, and you've got these two little pinch clips so you can uh, sort of adjust them. Also comes with some silicone tubing. So if you want um, just more like a bungee mount, uh, you can mount that onto the, uh, the Perdix with that. That comes supplied. Uh, again, book of words, but these are quite small. Um, and a sticker, uh, a couple of stickers actually. Um, and just instructions on how to use it. But most of the manuals are done sort of online. Uh, a lot of the manufacturers are going down that road. They're not producing CDs or actual physical books. They just go onto our website and download it. You also get a Bluetooth dongle for your um, for your computer because this one has Bluetooth. Sorry, the uh, the Genius also has Bluetooth, um, and um, a little key for changing the battery. I'll show you that in a second. A couple of spare O-rings, uh, a carabiner, and more paperwork. Uh, so the unit itself, made out of um, sort of plastic and polymer. Um, we've got a decent sized screen. It's pretty much the same size screen, but we'll look at that in the specs. Um, much, much smaller. It's still a large screen dive computer, but most of it is that screen. There's not much sort of around the side. The biggest portion of the computer itself is in the battery chamber. So inside here, you fit a double A battery, so very quick and easy to uh, get hold of and sort of swap that over. So it's not rechargeable. You can get rechargeable batteries and put them in it, um, but of course you can't charge it through the body as you can on the Genius. Um, but you just use that quick little key just to um, sort of swap that battery. Two button user interface. Uh, this uses um, piezoelectric uh, buttons, so they're not actual push buttons. Um, it's it's all to do with the change in pressure and all that kind of stuff. So even if you're wearing gloves, it still registers them, but there's no physical movement in the button, which is quite nice. Um, compared to the Genius, you've got a physical push button, um, which just reduces the chance of uh, any like mechanical faults or any sort of water ingress in that. Uh, on the underside, very simple. It's just some, some nicely rounded, and uh, you've got all these different mounting options for you. Um, so that's it as far as the, um, the like physical hardware, uh, let's take a look at the insides and uh, the software and let's take a look at those screens compared against one another. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the screens and the kind of user interface. Um, so I've already turned these both to sort of their maximum brightness so that we can compare them. Uh, they both have like multi levels of brightness. Um, so you can sort of adjust it. The, uh, the Genius even has a night mode, uh, which basically just turns it into black and white from what I can tell. Um, but with the Perdix, you can completely change. If you don't like uh, sort of white and blue, you can change it to reds and greens and signs and any colors you want. Um, but they're both, uh, the screens themselves, there's not much in it. I kind of like them both. The Whereas the Genius is a little bit, um, it's a bit more aimed at the recreational diver, it's a little bit easier to, uh, to understand, whereas the, uh, the Perdix is a bit more sort of brute force, it just kind of gives you all the information you need and, um, and you take sort of what you need. Um, but let's take a look at the interface, um, because that's kind of the most important thing to actually um, navigate the computer. So because you've got four buttons on this, you've got four little icons just above it um, that give you an inkling at uh, sort of what that button's going to do. So I'm gonna come out of this, I'm gonna go home, so that's gonna go that button. And then here we see, this is basically the first screen that you see when you switch it on. So you can see we've got emergency contact information, so that's really handy. You can do something similar on the Perdix, um, but it's more you have to create a, uh, a picture and then upload that picture as a sort of startup image. Um, I presume you can upload your picture, uh, your profile picture, so that way if your computer's lost, as soon as someone switches it on, they know exactly whose it is. 
It tells you all the information that, uh, that you kind of need about the computer and how it's set up right now. So right now we can see we have one gas set. Um, you can have a maximum of five sets. Um, right now it's set to air, um, so just 21% oxygen. You can even see your gradient factor um, which is 8585, um, sort of already set. Now you can change that. Um, if you don't know what a gradient factor is, then don't. Uh, actually, if you, um, if you don't know what a gradient factor is, read up on it, it's very interesting. It'll let you know sort of how your dive computer is working. Um, but before you change your gradient factor, you should really understand what it is. Um, We've got our conservancy, uh, our conservancy as well. Uh, so we've got altitude zero because we're pretty close to uh, to sea level here in the studio, and um, and then sort of below it, each of the buttons tells you exactly what um, that button's going to do. So I'm going to change the gas, just go into gas, and then we can set. Well, we've got three gases on here, um, so I'm going to go down to uh, to two, select that one. Uh, I'm just going to turn that one on, so it's that button. So it's very quick and easy to navigate. Um, it's very intuitive. Um, the buttons tell you exactly what's going on. It's already given me that um, sort of second gas. Um, but if you go into menu, then we can start cycling around. So the first one that's highlighted is Bluetooth. Um, there is an app for this. Um, I, I'm not gonna show it to you because it's still in production. Um, I do have like the very first um, sort of iteration of it. You can download it onto your phone uh, at the moment. All it seems to does is it just downloads dives onto your um, onto your smartphone or tablet, and that's kind of it. So I imagine there's going to be more features coming, but for now it's still like a, a sort of a working progress. Um, you can cycle through. You can upload images. You can even upload maps. Um, now I say maps; it's just an image. This is an example of the kind of map that you can um, sort of download onto the um, the dive computer, and that way when you're actually on your dive. If you ever get like turned around, you can just sort of select this and go to that uh, map that's stored on your device, and uh, and that just shows you a, a basic picture of the dive site or the uh, or the wreck that you're on, so you can kind of orient yourself. Uh, keep going around. You can go to information, uh, the compass. Uh, set computer and set dive. Uh, so I'm just going to come back and I'm just going to go back to the, uh, the sort of the basic dive screen. So the screen itself, nice and bright. Um, the user interface, very simple, easy to use, and um, and yeah, it's color coded, so it's very um, very intuitive. So you know exactly what um, what you're looking at. If stuff starts changing color and going to like ambers and reds, you know to pay attention to it. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like it. Now comparing that to the Perdex, um, so as far as screen size, there's not a great deal in it. I believe the uh, the Genius might be a little bit bigger. But um, two button user interface. So, so right here we have sort of all our information. This is in tech mode, so it's got lots of little bits of information. You can set it to a, um, a, like a recreational mode and, uh, and different things. But, um, but right now, now it's got uh, sort of all the information to hand. So two buttons. Um, so with the lightest press, it kind of cycles through things. So right now we've got our compass. Keep going through, it's not connected to a transmitter, so it's just complaining. Um, more information about uh, dives, temperature, your gradient factor, um, and you can just sort of cycle through your tissue loading and even more information uh, about everything that you could possibly need to know. So navigating the menu, um, it's because it's a two button user interface can be a little bit more tricky because you can't go backwards and forwards. You can kind of only go forwards. Um, so I'm just going to go into dive setup, uh, define gas, and then you can sort of cycle through each of these and select which ones. Um, but if you go past the one that you want, you can't go back. You kind of have to cycle all the way through. So it can be a little bit fiddly and you basically have to pay attention when you are sort of selecting certain things um, before you then progress. Um, so right now I've already done it because I'm working upside down. Uh, next, next. But again, it tells you in the bottom corner, just like the Perdex, um, sort of what that, um, what that button does So exit. Uh, next. So yeah, <clears throat> not as easy to navigate, um, but what they have done on the inside is when you're sort of actually in the water, 
the menu structure changes. So when you're uh, at a certain point of the dive, it's continually changing that menu structure so that, oh, okay, chances are he's gonna to want to switch a gas here. So it puts that right at the beginning. Um, so it's much quicker, it's more intuitive to navigate around. Um, the buttons, I definitely like the, uh, the piezoelectric buttons, um, but I would prefer two more just so it's a little bit easier. Uh, you get a bit more customization so that you can to navigate out a little bit easier. So that's kind of the user interface and the screens kind of compared against one another. Uh, let's take a look at the specifications, the kind of hard facts and uh, sort of what these computers are running on. Okay, so now we've looked at the outside and on the inside, let's take a look at the lovely specifications. So the technical stuff that's really silent that you can't look or see or feel. Um, so the first thing is, is the price. So the Perdix AI, so this will set you back about 857 pounds right now. So that's for the air integrated version. If you're not interested in uh, sort of wireless air integration, um, there is just the Perdix uh, without it and that's 754, uh, so a little bit cheaper but the Genius is cheaper than both at 711 pounds at the moment. So it's, it's cheaper um, and it, it does kind of have a lot of the similar kind of features to it. Um, so yeah, that's definitely worth considering. So five transmitters this one will connect to compared to two. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever been on a dive where I've used more than two uh, or even more than one to be honest. Um, I don't tend to use that many transmitters when I'm in the water, but if you've got lots of stages and you want to uh, sort of keep it all on your dive computer so you can monitor them all from one screen, then yeah, it's definitely um, definitely something worth considering. Um, they're both uh, Nitrox and Trimix compatible, so you can change the, uh, the oxygen and the helium levels. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the Genius because they don't really mention it in their specs. Um, the shear water, you can set um, sort of low, sort of less than 21% oxygen, um, whereas the Genius only specifies 21 up to 100. So I don't know whether you can go to um, sort of hypoxic mixes um, that have less oxygen. Um, but if you're not diving um, sort of low oxygen, then it's not an issue. Um, helium again, sort of 0 to, uh, to 99% if you're diving helium. Uh, the Perdix does come with a rebreather mode um, and you can set a sort of a bailout as well. Uh, whereas as far as I know it, the Genius doesn't. Um, that might be an updatable um, sort of firmware in the future, um, so you can correct me in the comments. Uh, but right now, if you are diving a uh, sort of closed circuit rebreather, then the Perdix is the way to go. Um, they both run the same Buhlmann uh, ZHL16C uh, algorithm with gradient factors. So there, they're level pegging. Depth rating, ever so slightly different. The Genius will take you down to 150 meters. Perdix will take you down to 152. Job done. It's two meters deeper. I reckon all they've done is they, because they're a Canadian brand, they've done it uh, that's sort of imperial and they've done it to a certain number of feet and then they just converted that to meters, so 152. Um, but if you're diving to the sort of 150 depths, then yeah, either should be fine. Um, and then sort of battery life. So we have a uh, removable AA battery on the uh, on the shear water that will last up to about 300 hours, um, mainly due to the screen being predominantly black. Um, I'm just going to press a button on here so it doesn't go to sleep. Um, so you do get a really long battery life, and because it's AA batteries, you can just bring a whole bunch of spares with you uh, and just sort of undo that and change that whenever. The rechargeable battery that's sort of factory sealed inside of the um, of the Genius has got a 40 hour battery life. So um, so less battery life, but it's rechargeable. So you can sort of top it up if you're on a, um, a long, like a, a weeks long liverboard, you can just top it up every day. Um, sort of after you're diving, it will do an entire day's worth of diving. Um, it will probably do an entire week's worth of diving as long as you're sort of savvy with the, uh, the power settings. Um, but again, you can change those um, sort of brightness settings and, uh, and sort of make it as, as, as dim as possible that you can read it, uh, but not so bright that you're uh, sort of wasting battery life. Um, other than that, as, fair, uh, as far as actual screen size, 
the Genius has got a slightly bigger screen, it's a little bit longer and a little bit wider as well. Um, it's a bit more square compared to the rectangle on the, uh, on the Shearwater. Um, but as far as sheer size goes, you can physically see how much bigger it is compared to, um, compared to the little Perdix. It's, um, it's a bit more of a brick um, that kind of sits on your, uh, on your wrist. The Shearwater is, is a lot lighter, um, so that even with the strap uh, so in position, and um, so it's, it's just that little bit neater and tidier. There is a larger version um, of the other uh, Perdix, is the, is the Petrol. It's kind of the, um, uh, the, sort of the big brother, as it were, the, or the older brother, at least. Uh, it's a bit chunkier. It's got a lot of the same features. Uh, the Perdix is just the kind of slimmed down version. Um, so that's the specs, the real sort of hard, they're, they're very much level pegging, apart from sort of the price and a few other little bits it's there. Um, let's go through to our final thoughts. Okay, so we've looked at the outside, we've looked at the inside, and we've also compared the specifications. So they're pretty similar. They're kind of level pegging, apart from on the price and a few other little niggly bits uh, kind of inside of them. The Genius has a larger screen, um, but it's got that rechargeable battery and it is a bit of a brick, it is a big dive computer. Um, the one thing I really do like about it is that four button user interface, makes it much more natural and intuitive to kind of like navigate your way around it, whereas the Shearwater is a little bit slower to, um, uh, to kind of change things and kind of go back, you have to recycle, go around, um, uh, go around yourself to come back if you skip over something. So I'm kind of giving the edge to the Genius because it's that, that much cheaper, but it does have all of those sort of features that you do get on the, uh, on the Shearwater. It's got everything that you need. It's got all that color screen. It's got the wireless air integration. It's got the uh, sort of the gradient factor settings. If you want to change your uh, and match your dive algorithms to your actual dive profile, then the Genius, yeah, is definitely um, sort of a route worth traveling. But, that size, if it was smaller, it would definitely win. It is a big dive computer. It's not heavy, but the amount of sort of square footage that it takes on your wrist is just massive, which is why, again, unfortunately, I'm leaning towards the Perdix. Um, I've, I've always loved the Perdix. It's a nice, tidy dive computer. The only downside, if I could take the buttons off of this and have a four button user interface on the Shearwater, I'd lean in that direction and, uh, and it would be the best dive computer ever. Because you can swap over that battery and it's a double A battery, yeah, it means you get plenty of uh, sort of dive time. You never have to worry about your, uh, your battery or uh, sort of recharging it at the end of the day. It'll tell you how much battery life you have left, as the Genius will. Uh, but to be honest, yeah, I'm leaning towards the Perdix still. Um, it, it's, it's always that kind of winner, no matter where you go. But I'd be very happy diving with a Genius. But of course, let us know in the comments below which your favorite is and why, and, uh, and whether you're sort of in the market for either of these two dive computers. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more like it. And of course, hit on that little bell icon, because then as soon as we upload a video, it will send you an email so you know to watch it. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.